Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Man, so this is our second live stream for today. So if you, just in case if you guys have missed this morning, we calibrate uh, EK43 earlier this morning. So if you guys are curious about how to calibrate EK43, just make sure to check out my other video. Uh, if you're first time joining us, welcome to live streaming. Uh, we go live between, anywhere between 8 and 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, sometimes afternoon as well. So we don't have a set schedule, but we're trying to definitely go live uh, between 8 and 9 every single morning. We just uh, hang out, make some coffee, and just make sure to join the live chat as well, guys. Okay, make sure to join the live chat. We have a great group of community. And today I'm joined by uh, friends from Discord as well. Okay, we got the summer cast going on. I got another camera set up over there. So so we got uh, people can watch from Discord directly, the live streaming. So anyway, uh, let's get going. So this morning, uh, let's start then with uh, EK43. I'm very excited about this. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I have, I just opened up the brand new bag from Costa Rica. Shout out to Brent, Good Brothers Coffee. Uh, he's roasted a couple weeks ago. So now it's time to drink. Okay. Let's take a look at tasting notes. Gingerbread, cinnamon, and cantaloupe. So let's see here. Let's see what else I'm gonna talk about. Okay, by the way, EK43 does not come with a dosing cup, okay? So I'm using my dosing cup from Niche. So that's what I'm using right now. Hopefully, oh, by the way, uh, let me know if you're having issues with uh, video quality. Hopefully we have a good connection this morning. And then what else? And also one more thing is I'm, I'm going to be using the IMS uh, filter basket. It's called Super Fine. Okay. I'm, I'm trying it out today. So Super Fine um, basket. So let's see here. So we are, we are doing a lot of tests this morning. So should be a lot of fun. So you know what? Let's get going. Let's dial in some coffee. Hopefully we're going to get a good tasting shot. Uh, so I'm going to start with my grinder setting just below one for my grinder setting right now. Again, I already measured out about 18 gram there. The before I'm going to dose out the coffee grinds. Don't let me lock it in here. We got to do a few things. Okay. I'm going to find out what's the retention like. Okay, so I have about 18, so I have 18 gram. Those out. Okay, so some people do use our, our RDT. RDT means rust droplet technique. You know, by spray bottle. I like to just to use a water. Just like one drop here, dunk it in, that's it. So this is my RDT. All right. By the way, so this is a EK43 short, okay? Short means the distance from the bottom to top are short. But if you take a look at the hopper, man, that is one tall hopper there. So. Anyway, so let's grind some coffee. That's it guys, just like that. So fast. So I'm gonna be using this, this knock box thing right here. Knock device. So we got 18 gram in. Goodness, I got 17 gram out, okay? So, it's hiding somewhere. Hold on, I'm just gonna knock it out some more. Hold on. Okay. Yep, still the same. I got, I'm short gram, okay? I'm, I'm lost gram there. So I'm just gonna add some, couple more, 
coffee here because I like the 18 gram dough. So. I got 17.7, it's okay. I, I think I'm gonna stick with the 17.7. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, make sure to join the live chat. Okay, we have a great group of friends at the live chat. So make sure introduce yourself. All right. Let's, let's prepare the pot. Okay. You know, I am, you know, fact is I am a big fan of WDT. I know some of you out there, WDT is overrated, but I like it, okay? Something about it. I'm not going to do this at cafe setting, but at home, you know, if you want to, I do have this puck rake, kind of like rake it, just like your house landscaping. So now you have beauty, beautifully manicured puck to work with. I'm just going to do some distribution as well. Um, let's use the Bravo Temper this morning. Okay. Looks pretty good. Let's switch to other side. By the way, I've been really enjoying using the puck screen. So I'm just going to heat it up. Okay. I think I'm going to be doing about a little longer shot there. More like 1 to like 2.5 or 1 to 3 ratio. Okay, again, I have no idea what the grinder is like, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the paddle. I'm going to start with the low flow first. Wait about a few seconds. I'm just going to increase the flow. Ten. We are definitely over extracting right now, about 50 seconds, about 10 bar pressure at, I'm not even open up fully, so, well, you know what, I'm just going to go all the way. This is a pretty long shot. Let's try to show for about 40 grams. Let's go 45. Yeah. Okay. It's about 80 seconds. So, which means we know. So, right now, I'm at, goodness, just below one there. That grinder setting is wrong, okay? I mean, I think I can go even up to even 1.5, okay? Let's change to 1.5. Yeah, that changed to 1.5. We're going to give it another shot. But you know what? Let's not waste this coffee. So let's try it out for a second. Okay, I'm going to give it a try here. Shot looks pretty good. All right. So it's going to be, goodness. 
I'm telling you, it's going to be very bitter for sure, okay? It's going to be very bitter for sure, sir. So. I'm a little nervous about this shot. Okay. This is a light roast, more like light to media. Cheers. So this is our first shot from EK43 this morning. You know what, even though this is way over extracted, while well, yours was about 80 second shot, it's not bad. Not better, a very clean still. You know what, I had worse. So this is not bad at all. Okay, so let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more. So, oh goodness, guess what guys? The reason why we are short, okay, we got 17 gram. You see this? I got four beans stuck right inside, okay? So, the four beans, hold on. This is great. Hold on here, guys. The four bean is equivalent to 0.6 gram, okay? So it comes to retention wise, it's not too bad. Okay, let's try one more time. So we have another 18 gram here. Make sure I'm gonna get all the coffee ground inside, okay? So I'm not gonna make the mistake again. All right, here we go. Let's do one more. So we, are, uh, we already adjust the grinder setting to what, 1.5 right now. Uh, we are just below, yeah, I think 1.5 should be good. And let, uh, let's try that. Again, okay, we're gonna do the RDT. Just like so. So we are ready. Start the grinder. Knock it. By the way, I'm not a big fan of this uh, stopper here. Okay, this thing is not user friendly. I wish they did a better job than this. Yeah, I mean, this grinder is about three grand, guys. Okay, $3,000, okay. So you got 18 gram in. Eight, oh, what happened? They got 18.5 gram out. The retention is all over so far, okay? I'm just gonna take some out. Okay. Perfect. But overall, you know what, I mean, that's something, you know. So this grinder has not been seasoned, okay? So this is more like my number five shot. That's it. So, Five shot at the most. I, w w I bet you once I'm gonna be seasoned this, I think we should be good to go. Okay. The reason why I like the puck screen, because they're gonna have a clean puck every single time, but I'm using the fine, super fine screen this morning. You know, I'm not a big fan of it so far, okay. I'm not a big, big fan of this screen there, but we'll see. I'm just gonna clean it.
Now let me know in the comment section is how many of, of you out there use super fine uh, screen for your coffee in the morning. Okay. You know what? Again, the RDT method. I'm just going to WDT here. I know uh, EK43 does great job. The grind cup. But this one comes with a 98 millimeter flat burr. Pretty impressive. Okay. Hope I have a better shot this time. Get the puck screen going. All right. Okay, number two. I think, again, we're going to do the same ratio about, you know, 1 to 2.5 to 1 to 3. I'm going to start with the low flow first. Wait about five, six seconds and increase the flow. Much better there. Okay. We're going to go down to nine bar. Shot looks pretty good. Try to shoot for 40 gram. Okay. About 39 seconds. A little longer, but. Looks really good. All right. Let's give it a try. Okay. Hold on a second here. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome to live streaming. Okay, hello. Shout out to hashtag. Gotta need to better resolution for streaming. Okay, so right now I'm using the rear cam, okay? So on my iPhone. You know, I have to say, this is a lot better than before. Okay, I, this is a lot better video color than I've ever been. So we are getting there, okay? We are getting to the right, you know, right direction. So this is the second shot. Smells great. I can't wait to try this one. All right, guys. Cheers, guys. Man. This is much better than first shot, so. Wow. This is it. Can taste the cantaloupe. Gingerbread is all there. Okay. Hold on. Cinnamon. Where's cinnamon? Hold on. Yep. So this is good. I mean, this is fantastic. Okay. Again, I was worried about the alignment, but as you saw. Uh, first couple shots, there's no hardly you know, any channeling. I mean, if you see it, let me know. Okay, I'd love to see because I can, well, for my angle, shot was pretty good. And make a big difference in flavor. Man, this is tasty. Very smooth, extremely clean. If you guys are into espresso or something, especially a lighter roast, the flat burr gives you that the clarity, okay? Very clear, uh, clear on the, the tasting notes. You can actually taste the, uh, think of it as you are eating, okay? You are eating steak, mashed potato, and some veggies like broccoli. You, you are going to taste uh, each meal, okay? Each, uh, uh, you know, each part. You, you're gonna stick, uh, taste the steak, taste the broccoli, Taste the mashed potato. So uh, this is some of um, what it tastes like, okay? I mean, it's all gone. But with uh, the flatbread does that, 
okay especially 98 millimeter that thing is huge so and if you go with a conical think of it as kind of like milkshake imagine blending in steak mashed potato and broccoli blend i mean that's most likely it's gonna be what that tastes like so anyway so that's my theory okay actually that's what i'm you know experiencing it right now so uh if you have you know uh, other uh, thoughts on it please let me know in the comment section as well okay and then uh, hold on just make sure to join the live chat too right we have a great group of communities i'm gonna shout out to jordan Jordan just got a the Caftac Max. Okay, that is a grinder. I I'd love to try next time. But yeah, shout out to Jordan for a big purchase. I think we are pretty good this morning. So you know what? Let's do. You know what? I'm thinking about later this afternoon. Okay. So we know uh, just below two is pretty good for this. Okay, for the, this coffee this morning from Costa Rica. Maybe this afternoon, let's compare that with uh, P64, okay? So let's compare EK43 versus P64. This is more like batter of uh, flappers. 98 versus 64 millimeter. Let's find out which one, okay? Is there any taste difference between these two grinder about the same. Yeah, I'm mean, really looking forward to it. All right, I'm really looking forward to compare both. And then what else? Uh, let's see here. I think we, uh, I'm looking through your que uh, uh, questions right now. Again, you know what? I mean, if you guys are into uh, Discord, make sure to follow me on Discord as well, okay? We go, uh, I think we have about what? 10 members right now? 10 members on this course. So yeah, uh, just look for Hoon's Coffee. You can find me. It's, it's pretty casual. Okay. I mean, my, so yeah, make, make sure to check out the Discord. And I'm, again, I know some of you are really into it. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, if you have any, again, uh, 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 questions or comments, let me know. Lo love to hear your thoughts on it. And then uh, maybe end up, you know what, let's come compare with the niche too yeah why not okay let's compare with the niche i know we are comparing apple to orange but you know i mean it should be fun it should be a fun comparison so anyway i'm gonna see you guys uh, this afternoon